Hello, we're going to be talking about how to set up your blog page on WordPress, presented by Compete Now Website Design. Uh, first, go over the agenda. Uh, a little bit of information on why you should do this. Uh, we're going to determine your your needs and your situation. So that says if your blog's already on your home page, you want to move it, or anything like that, we're going to discuss what you're going to need to do, um, how to create a page for your blog, how to create a page for the home page, and then eventually how to link them up so everything functions properly. If, any, if at any time you want to skip to a specific section in this video, there's also a table of contents below. Let's talk a little bit why you should do this. Um, by creating a blog, you're going to have a lot of extra keywords, and you're going to have a lot of extra page titles. It's going to help you get found easier having a blog. Um, if you're in a conversation with a potential customer and you want to refer them to your website um, while at the same time giving them something useful, say, hey, you know, I'm glad that we talked about this. For even more information, please check out this blog post. I can even email it to you later. It's just, an, just one example of how you can utilize a blog. Um, in addition to that, there's also a lot of um, past clients that have been on, uh, been doing newsletters and uh, putting a lot of time and effort into developing content for that type of stuff. And, I mean, why blast it out once for nobody ever really see again? Uh, it's just way too much work, and you might as well kind of, I would want to say, recycle sounds cheap, but um, you want you really want to utilize that content. So, you know, as you add newsletters, if you've already done them in the past, you might want to go back and start putting that content into your site so it's something that you can send a link to people in the future. And that's just some brief information about blogging, but um, we'll have future videos and um, and blog posts about why you should actually blog. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is determine your needs. Uh, let's just go to this site. So default on WordPress, um, this is our tutorial site. Default on WordPress, it typically will have your blog posts show up um, on the home page, just whatever your last post was. So in this case, it was our last test post. Um, with some dummy content, but so that's a home page. You know, say, you know, you don't really want, and a lot of the sites that are already done, um, if there are already a blog, uh, you know, the home page is already set up to be um, a static page, and we'll show you how to do that also if it's not. So if you have a page like this and you want to make another tab called blog, we're going to show you how to do that. And then also, if you have, um, a page like this where there obviously is a blog set up but you don't want it to be your home page we're gonna show you that also regardless of the situation um, if you want to create a blog page you're gonna have to create the page itself so first we're gonna go up to add new hit page you can also do this through the dashboard if you don't have that little admin bar some themes don't take it from the dashboard scroll down to the left and hit add new page I'm going to call it blog. Um, it doesn't really matter what you call it. You could typically call it blog, but if you want to call it you know, tips, tips for success, you can name it whatever you want. Um, you can name it newsletters if you want, but for now we're just going to name it blog. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, if you need to set, I'm going to set the template on mine, but you don't have to do that uh, on your site. It'd probably already be set up. So you know, hit publish. Okay, that page is now created. And now, let's see. So, I also want to have a home page. If you already have a home page, and oh, that's my site. If you already have a home page and you just need a blog page, then you've already created the page that you need. You can disregard the next 45 seconds. But if you need to create a static home page, you're going to do another add new page. And you call it home. Hit publish. Okay, so now we have both pages that we need. Okay, so now scroll to the left, scroll all the way down, hit reading under settings, scroll to the middle. See where it says front page displays? You want to uncheck your latest post. It's a static page, um, and you want to select for a front page, you're going to hit home. For post page, you're going to hit blog. Okay, 
hit save. All right, now that's all saved. Let's make sure it looks good on the front. Now we have the home here. And when you go to blog, there's the post page. And that's it. So very quickly, we'll just run through it one more time. Um, if your home page is already something like, it's already home, it's not post, it's nothing like that, all you have to do is create the blog page. So all you have to do is create the blog page and then go back into reading uh, under settings and hit pick your post page as blog. And then if you don't even, if you don't even, if your posts are already on the home page and you want to move them to a, its own page within the site, then you have to create a home page and then you have to set that page for home and post page for blog. Okay, so it's been another tutorial from Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials that give you the keys to your web presence and put you in the fast lane to success. Uh, we have plenty more at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. I'll show you that part on our site since it's already open. I had clicked to it before. This is our site, startcompeting.com. And you scroll over to tutorials, click on that, and there you go. Find out what WordPress is find out about your situation and then also we have a directory of all of our tutorials that we've made so far. Okay, so thanks for tuning in today and we look forward to assisting you more on WordPress and future tutorials.